I don't really agree with much yet to learn. Good night, Grim. Yo, we are only one fucking one dialogue choice away. Hey, we got money. End the day. Getting pretty, pretty close, pretty close to our monthly performance review. Grim, we have very few incoming profiles for today. Something is quite amiss. Keep your wits about you. One human has to die. This is a suspiciously simple day. Charming real-life tale of a maths professor helping a young maths genius to be turned into a film. Hey, good for them. Promising young architect wins grand prize for monumental sustainable sauna. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Saunas are fucking, I would love a sauna. God, a, a wet sauna sounds so nice right now. Oh, I wonder if there's any saunas open at like midnight. <laughs> End of day researcher eaten at their lab by bugs used for research. Oh. Oh no. The end of days draws near. Already the bugs rebel. There is no escape! The results are in. Fish can have a little salami as a treat. Roving Rover. Nice guys do finish last. If you know what I mean. Winky face, winky. How did you get my number, Rover? How did you get my number? We made a mistake. We made a mistake, everyone. Programmer dies of fatal error. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a cheeky that's a cheeky death message. All right, <clears throat> we have Martin Vidoc. I'm pretty sure, like, O-C-Q is French, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Conscript. All Martin wants to do in life is to be creative, but a harsh reality has forced them against their will into a situation they have no control of. Until they return from military service. Fucking... This. Either, uh, for a lot of people, you either take on an unreasonable amount of student debt, or you sell your body into military service. And it fucking sucks either way! Hiroyo Saito. Gym teacher. Push-ups, pull-ups, crunches, running! It's time to move your body, maggots! Hiroyo used to be a drill sergeant, but got discharged for being far too belligerent, even by military standards. Now they teach physical education in middle school. Oh, fuck that. I believe in you, Martin Vidoc. Seize, seize, seize the means of your life. You'll survive. I believe in you. How'd I do, Fate? Did I do good? Grim, I feel odd. I am confused. But I cannot figure out why. It's that muscle confusion. Expecting something. But what? I do not really know. Oh, congratulations! You're expecting? Oh, that's so nice for you. Uh, have, you already, have you already picked out a name? I don't know. I don't know what I would get my boss in a, in a uh, baby shower. I'm not gonna lie. I just generally feel awkward and uncomfortable. Jitters about your novel? Ah, the novel. Yes. The anxiety of creativity might be taking its toll. Oh, bother. I must be getting tired. Mayhaps we should turn to our regular matters. Or we can skip it if you're not feeling up to it. Yeah. Does it really matter? I cannot tell anymore. Man, my boss is falling into a kind of a not nihilistic sure what pit. I'm supposed to do right now. Uh, you give me my money. 
That's uh, absolutely. Don't forget that part of anything. Do not forget to pay me. I, I there's so much bullshit. I still still want to buy, and I need money to afford it. So, uh, I guess that is it. Good night. Cha-ching. Let's see if we can uh, get anything new. We should have a we should have a decent bit of money. If now. I ever return to the seas, I'd have ye on me crew anytime. <gasps> Ooh, the face of the great. Oh, oh hell the yeah! The slimy appendages are still here. I shudder at that very memory. Did not know which way was up, which way was down, where to step forward. The walls—they were everywhere. I grabbed what I could and ran, ran as fast as me feet could go. Me feet could as go. I emerged from the darkness. I found myself standing in the middle of a carnival. Truly a nightmare. <laughs> Certainly an eldritch horror. All right, I think this is. I think this gets us new faces. So let's let's see. Hell yeah! So we got great old one, extra slimy, pigment, pop art, skin, yarr. Um, pop art feels hella extra. Um. Hmm. I kind of want to go with it. But the kind of, what is it, calico? That's not right. Uh, piebald. Yeah, the piebald looking one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with a let's go with a bit of a dapper piebald squid. You've got to be squinting me. Watch out, chaos abound, Grim. Balance today according to your own wishes. I cannot spare the time to give you specifics currently. Whatever works. Damn, fate is really getting nihilistic. In that right, piggy. In that right, squeaky. President Naya Bree visiting Cosmopolis City as a part of a goodwill tour. Okay. Goodwill for what? Switch to kind of a slow and contemplative. Com 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 Complentive? Complentative? Contemplative? Contemplative. I think that's the word. I think that's how you say words. Um, hi, I'm Drecky. I know English. Allegedly. Citation needed. E.G. Kaneka. Inmate. E.G. is currently incarcerated at the local jail for producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab that they had access to as a chemistry student. Alright, Jesse. They still dream of finishing their degree in the program after getting out of jail. E.G. now wishes to be a diplomat, as they are constantly negotiating gang deals in jail and surviving. I mean... What? Uh, you, you had... You made a mistake. But, to be fair... Crushing student debt, you kind of you kind of do what you got to do, and unfortunately, you got caught. I'd like to think the hard drugs they're making is like speed and concentration juice for uh, people cramming for finals. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna believe in you, E.G. I believe I believe you can. I believe when you get out, you'll be able to do good things. Harrison Stewart, 
Mysterious Capitalist. All right, I'm already hovering over Die on this. No one knows much about Harrison. Their history and identity are both mysteries. Most often they are seen moving around in a wheelchair, barely speaking a word to anyone. Although it is known, they once helped a lost detective. Seems like a reference, but... Die, Capitalist, die. Irwin Raidvow, adult caregiver. Irwin went into the caregiver business when they ran out of things to do. In truth, they have very little care to give and are very sloppy at their job, mostly trying to con the elderly into giving them money or having them buy fake insurance. Oh, fuck you, Irwin. That's an easy kill. Naya Zobri, president. Naya is the youngest person to be elected to the office of president of Gullstad, a small but wealthy nation. They ran on a platform of constructing the enormous sky fortresses, immensely heavily armed flying citadels. Who wouldn't love a couple of those? Yeah, let's spend our entire national budget on giant military sky fortresses. Or we could not. Bye! Hans Fjall, Waste Disposal. Hans started working in a waste dis started working in waste disposal a few years ago, but they forgot to ask where to dump the waste during orientation. And at this point, they're too afraid to ask. They sneakily bring everything into nearby forests when nobody is looking. Hans. Hans, you, you can't do that. That's that's so many environmental regulation issues. You can't do that, Hans. I'm afraid you've been judged. Ooh, Cloud. Hey, Reaper. Do you hear that joyful murmur of life? Um, actually, I think that's heart palpitations. I love it. The clarion call to victory. The gorgeous triumph of the mundane. The soothing rhythm of the humdrum. There is a musical that is suddenly trying to... What is that song? Something something humdrum. Oh! I remember Stupendium. Uh, one of his songs with, um, not Undertale, the, um... The newer game by Toby Fox. Um... Oh, it's going to bug me, and it's going to come to me later. We're just being sarcastic now. Never so, O oh defender of stability. You've even thwarted an ill-fated ambition or two. I put the stab in stability. I know. You crave for conflict instead? Let them be in their sorrow. Feel at ease and let the smooth tide take you away. I'm far too busy for that. He's seeing you. Uh, wait. What? That's our line. Not anymore. Ha ha! I got the last word. Get wrecked, mysterious cloud thing. I must admit, Grim, I still feel a degree of confusion. However, your recent assessment may have been correct. So, how was your day? Keeping chaos at bay, creating equilibrium. You know the drill. Grand, you have truly taken fundamentals to heart, so to speak. <laughs> you gotta be kidneying me. Apologies. Inappropriate humor. Mm, all right. I guess that is that. I am not a lack of words. What about the daily review? Uh, I am sure you have performed adequately. Good night. Huh. I wonder if one of those, on all those, wait, what? You, you gave me no money. You said I did okay. Motherfucker. Piece of shit fucking bosses withholding wages. Why the fuck you garner, gar, garnishing my wages? Dick. Hold on. 
He's not in his office today. Interesting. I think this is the first time I've seen him not in his office. I wonder if that means the evening's gonna be different. The usual. Another painfully regular day. Everything is in balance. You can try to keep it that way. Unless... P.S. I, uh... Forgot what I wanted to write. Fate. International Let's Clean Up the Horrendously Polluted Forests Day. Announced. Bit of a mouthful, but, you know, their heart's in the right place. Huge amounts of MMMA just came out of nowhere, police claim. President Bree dies in a helicopter crash. Flying Citadel plans shelved. That's a, that's a good thing. We don't need that one, uh... What is it, Captain America 2? The sky carrier things? Yeah, yeah, no. We don't need that shit. Ryo Kobayashi, politician. Ryo has been aggressively advocating for a new radical policy which completely eliminates all taxes. Any and all vocal opponents are mercilessly mocked. I mean, what did taxes ever do for us anyway? Yeah, what did taxes ever do except for you know, the Environmental Protection Agency, which makes sure we have clean water and clean air, or perhaps the... Uh, Department of Transportation, which, you know, makes sure we have functioning bridges and roads uh, for for our infrastructure. Um, what about the weather agency to have forecasts and forewarning of hurricanes and tornadoes? Oh, you know, what, what about the, uh, I can't remember it now, but the one that um, makes standardized, standardized time, you know, make sure everyone has the right clocks, all that's, all that's in line. Oh, let's not forget about the... Um, fucking 50 billion regulations that no one thinks about but keeps us fucking alive in a functioning society so sociopaths like Ryo Kobayashi don't fucking kill us all Ugh, Carmen Del Rio barista all right a barista who hates coffee that's Carmen cute cute laugh track right there I, I need a I need like a canned Seinfeld laughter stinger since they find all coffee equally bad tasting, they unknowingly keep committing a grave sin when serving customers, heating up old coffee in a microwave. No, that, that's, I mean, that's fine if you make giant batches of coffee. Honestly, I, I used to have, like, I have a, I have a pour over uh, Chemex coffee thing, and I have a induction stove, is it induction? It's a, it's a glass stove top. So I would brew my coffee, and I usually brew like two or three cups of coffee worth at a time. And then I would have my stove on like very low heat to keep it warm. And, you know, I would just, you know, pour, what, pour a new cup whenever I finished one. And I found those later cups were not really so great. But if I didn't put it on heat that whole time and let it cool off, because, yeah, it... it It'll, it'll get cold. I, I'm a sipper. It takes me a while to get through a cup. And then I just do a nuke in the microwave. The coffee stayed a lot better um, compared to if I kept it warm the whole time. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it's because, like, you know, they get cooked. You know, you, you brew it. They You put the hot water through, all that jazz. And if they cool off, they're kind of like, you know, they don't keep cooking or keep whatever chemical reactions that happen at the higher temperatures. Um, and I think that keeps the flavor stable longer. Obviously, you know, you're going to lose some flavor when it's not a absolute freshly brewed cup of coffee, but that's a, that's a price I'm willing to pay so I can be a little bit lazy and not brew it one cup at a time. Also, it lets me be a little bit more efficient with my paper filters, you know. I, if I use if I made like one cup of coffee at a time, I would go through filters so much faster. Jop Bin, retired, estranged from their grandchild in life, Jop dreams of gaining their favor in, or more specifically after, death, by passing on their priceless heirloom necklace, a deed hard to perform while they live due to the restraining order. 
Um, I, I don't know if killing them makes them win, so I should make them live, or if I should kill them to help them. You know what? We'll we'll just barista. You're good. Here you go, Jop. You're you're dead now, so you can pass on your necklace, I guess. Well, it looks like our boss is in his office. I do not understand it. I do not understand what went wrong. The cat answers with a meow of uncertainty. I did everything right. I had a plan. But nothing is happening. Time is running out. What's not happening? Oh, do not mind me. There are many things overburdening my mind. The stress is meddlesome. I must get to the bottom of this. We have no time for chatter, Grim. Leave. Uh, hold on. No, not that. Okay, where is... Ah, there we go. Now that's enabled. I just realized I need a way to automate that. Huh, so fate is trying to do something. Hmm. Hmm. What is he doing? Other than trying to write a novel. A matter of balance. Balance, balance, balance. This word, balance. If you just repeat balance to yourself enough, the word eventually loses all meaning. The calculations show that two humans have to die today. Huh. It's interesting how we're starting to get more simple after like a lot of complex stuff. Um phone? That's interesting. Hijima Kodea, game designer. It's said that Hijima comes up with ideas for new games, characters, and plot lines by meditating in the rain. Subsequently, each of their games seems to make less and less sense, yet somehow getting better? He Hello, Hideo Kojima, um, person who has very interesting games, but I firmly believe is a movie director born in a game director body. Elil Ninetti, scholar, a true scholar. Elil is trying to integrate different disciplines in order to uncover the truths of the world. They live in the life of science, searching for the universal theory of everything. It's not going very well, but there are many holes to be patched. That's what makes it fun. All right. Croilus Sungaila, receptionist. Croilus tries to spruce up their rather monotonous life by flirting with customers at work. Things didn't go very swimmingly in this regard until the day that Croilus started wearing their late grandmother's heirloom necklace. Now one client in particular seems very interested. That's... not cool, Croilus, and is also kind of uncomfortable. There's a difference between being, like, friendly and just... Flirting with everyone? I don't, I don't like that. That's... Mm. Not what I meant to do. Let's put the pen down. You know what? I'm gonna put Liv on both of these. Nothing seems too wrong with either of them. Screw the rule. Screw the calculations. Two people live instead. What are you gonna do about it? Dock my pay? Ha! Here we are, the final stretch. And it's business as usual. <laughs> it's 
proves I'm the best Reaper ever. You must be feeling really limber after that stretch. Try not to hurt yourself with those hard pats on the back. You're decent. Oh. Best is a reach. Don't worry. I'll never hurt myself with some hard padding. Okay, fine. I love a little hubris. Try not to spend it treat. all in one place. And remember the ancient tragedies. Hubris is what leads to downfall. In conclusion, good job overcoming your greatest challenges. High five! Slap the mirror. Nice. No <laughs> to be honest, you should get out more. But also, keep doing There's, uh, what you're doing. not a lot of places for me to go, it's mysterious voice. Working. But meeting new people wouldn't do you harm. I guess what we're trying to say is, keep on doing the same thing, uh, but better. Was that helpful? You can tell us later if it was. Don't bother if it wasn't. <laughs> oh, only accepts positive feedback. Disregards all negative feedback. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we have the bar. Ah, we only have one new person today. And it's the shopkeeper. What ho, mighty! At last we meet here. The finest tavern in all the lands. Friend, seems ye have done excellent work this time round. This world, unlike many others, is feeling no pain, no charred ground, no fear and despair. Thanks, I managed, somehow. Aye, a labyrinth deftly traversed. I commend ye for the accomplishment. Ye have brought humanity as close to the ideal as one can get. For now, we gaze upon the gates of Utopia, unbarred. Can they be held open? Yar, I think it be possible. From the multitude of possibilities, ye have plucked one. The rest still remain. Ah, rejoice in your success, matey. Have a final drink and be merry. Sounds like a plan. Three cheers, friend. Hurrah! May the sun always shine on your bony arse. <laughs> your bony arse. It's just a great place to have attention. <laughs> Time to head back to me, Emporium. Comris awaits. And then my favorite part, the bartender. What she got for me today? Hey, if it isn't my good pal, Grimoire. Ooh, she give us a nickname? Heck, has it already been a month? Feels like you just got here a couple hours ago. I, I did. I heard from the rumor mill. You've been doing excellent work. Hey, welcome on by, Zyber. Yeah, I oh, I love the bartender in this game. She is one of my favorite characters. The world is more or less stable. Humanity lives and prospers and all that. Heckin' great. Shucks, you're making me blush. Look who's bashful. You keep humanity ticking along, but you can't take a tiny compliment? No, no, a compliment leaves me in shambles. <laughs> I thought the daily grind would toughen you up. We've got a cause for celebration. Cheers to your first successful month. A month of grind behind that desk. May it be followed by another one. Uh, oh no. And a month after that. Oh no. And a month. The, N the NUI. The NUI setting in. Please, please stop. One month after that. Until infinity never stops. <laughs> right? Oh, what can I get you? I, sure. I'd like a drink, What's please. Your poison? Ooh. Oh, this is a new one. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. I don't have enough. I don't, I don't think I have enough money for the usual or beeps and boops. Uh, a standard. Oh, why are there... There's three new options. What the fuck? Alright, um... I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta push the joke. We gotta, we gotta go with the beeps and the boops. Great cocktail, if a bit odd. <laughs> it's got some peculiar, let's say, um... Hey. 
hey, yo. This, uh, this some OG absinthe, wormwood and all. The drink tastes like a gray, volatile static of a TV that's been left on for the entire night. But you also sense the strong aroma of freshly printed plastic poly boxes. Underlying it all is a chilled, minty glow, which feels like it offers a glimpse beyond the veil. Sure, what's your point? I'd like a drink. Oh, I'm totally good. I'll be going now. Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Au revoir, Lil Reaper. <laughs> I love how she says that. Uh, alas, I am out of money. Alright, let's see what... I think this is our monthly performance review. So let's see if this is the end of the game. Another ordinary day. It has grown too late. Nothing to do now. <laughs> Lady Poddington adds a sound of compassion. Grim, my loyal subject. What use is any of this? Any of what? A grave matter. <laughs> grave. Also, Zyper, this is your morning? You work in, you work in some graveyard shifts? Oof. I hope, uh, hope your, hope your day is better than mine, because today was exhausting. Perhaps there is no fighting the inertia. It all flows. Unstoppable. No action of mine can even make a dent. Yeah, very, very long day. Constant deluge of work. Didn't help that, uh... I was talking about it earlier, but I had a I had a coworker who had the day off, but uh, they kept logging in on their phone to do work, and so I started trying to uh, work faster to get ahead of them, and I was telling them, "Hey, turn off your phone. This you have today off. Stop working. Enjoy your day off. I got this." <laughs> oh, so that didn't help when I suddenly got slammed with a bunch of other bunch of other work. I am resigned. And then there's those assholes out there. No, I don't have the day off. They had the day off. Yeah, I know. It was absolutely baffling. I also told them, like, at the very end, when they finally said, fine, I'll log off. I'm like, okay, now what you're also going to do is go back and subtract the uh, the hours off um, that you worked because you weren't... You you weren't having those days off. Like, ch charge those charge those hours back, bro. It does not matter. Tomorrow is the monthly review, where your whole conduct will be judged. It will be clear if you truly belong to this office. Have a good final rest, Grim. All right, tomorrow is the dawn of the final day. I got zero money, mother trucker. You didn't even pay me. Seems we just have our final day. One last word. Here we are. A last day before your ultimate evaluation. A day just like yesterday. The day before that. Time flies, does it not? Do you humans have to die again? I guess that's it. Fate. Ooh, what's this? Beeps and boops. What a cutie. Wait, did we? <laughs> Are we hallucinating? <laughs> this is amazing. Hold on. Can I uh can I put them can I put them in the drawer? Okay, I can. But no 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 no. We gotta we gotta have our beeps and boops. Hell yeah. Ooh, spooky. 
See what Cocker has for us. Local receptionist strangled to death with her own necklace. With own necklace, pardon me. The offending piece of jewelry is reported missing. Plastic Cog Gaseous series of games soon to get another sequel. Up to seven now. So close to the answer. I hear the note. Notes, but the arrangement is wrong. A little the scholar. One day I'll show them. One day the whole world will know. Hold on, how did they get my name? How did they get my number? Elo, Elo, what's going on? All right, let's see. Ishir Malik, dairy farmer. Ishir noticed their cows were acting strange. Then the milk started getting a green tinge and the taste could only be described as like licking a battery. Despite the protests of their spouse, they're always keen to investigate any and all oddities life throws their way. That's, I feel like that's a, that's a mystery you should find out because that's not good. Paul G. Hay, non-commissioned officer. As if born to lead in tense situations, Paul enjoys being the backbone of the armed services. After completing several important missions during the Waskagrad conflict, They've now moved on to training new recruits. They emphasize having a calm head and thinking things through. You know, that's, that's, that's certainly worse things for a non-commissioned officer to push. Forrest Seguin, pawn shop owner. Mostly sober throughout their life, Forrest has recently taken up heavy drinking, anything to keep their mind off the dead person's necklace now in their possession. They meant to sell it for a hefty sum, but it's almost as if the necklace demands to be worn. Oh, this is this is the person that killed the receptionist from the last game, last day. All right, you killed a person. Um, I feel like people should be encouraged to think things through, especially people armed. They should be cognizant and not just obey orders. I don't know if investigate oddities in the situation means find out what's fucking up the cows, or if it means, hey, we should market this battery acid milk. Um, I feel like it's find out what's going on with the cows, so I'm going to say live. So I feel like if they don't investigate that, there's going to be problems. Battery acid. Delicious, delicious, zappy copper. Is there anyone new? Nope. Alright. Let's see. Let's see our monthly performance review. What you got for me, Fate? How did it go so wrong? I had it all worked out. Calculated. Designed. What went wrong? Everything's going just fine, isn't it? Yes. The world endures against all odds. I cannot believe it. What, were you secretly trying to end the world or something? Yes, I thought it would be fairly obvious. Eventually, at least. What a twist! What a twist! The great dying is by my design. It is true. I do not love humanity. Not a bit. I feel like if you don't like humanity, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't be uh, upper management in charge of the human department. Maybe go to a different department. I hear the uh, plant department could use some uh, some assistance now and then. There are a lot of plants that need to be judged whether they live or die, especially the grass section. Oh man, the grass offices always understaffed. But why? I have grown tired of it all. This tedious existence. These humans. The endless tirade of death. It is all meaningless, you see. An endless loop of monotony that I cannot escape. That we cannot escape. 
Do you know how long I have been doing this? I barely remember myself. Uh, well, according to the archivist, uh, basically since the uh, universe began, actually. I am exhausted and sick of it all. I wish to stop, but no one can leave until the job is done. But if the great dying claimed them all... Uh, I feel like there's easier ways, like... Take a longer vacation. Uh, train up a replacement, you know? Maybe, maybe try... Painting? Um... I think I'll try something else, Fate. Then I could be free and claim the rest I deserve. So, I helped the Great Dying along. But the Equilibrium withstood it. The office remains. And I cannot fade away. Now, here I stand. Alone in the bright kinda... lights of my shattered life. Oof. I can give you your freedom. I can replace you. Grim, that is not how this whole structure operates. I cannot just relinquish the position to a mere spawn. You are not constructed for this purpose. Maybe it's time for a change. I do not know. Maybe what you say is correct. I lost my way, and humankind almost paid the ultimate price. Who can say with certainty you are not a better fit for this office? The evidence is all here, in the documents of the past four weeks. Yes, I will set up the transition process. Grim, enjoy your final hours as a drone. Soon you will sit in my stead. Hell I'll yeah. withdraw. Accept my own fate, <laughs> and we will not be meeting again. Wait, what's going to happen to you? Oh, hey, achievements. Ouroboros, War Changes, Plague Doctor. Ooh, Nations United. Mankind Surpassing Biological Limits. All right, good stuff so far. Humanity transcending. All right, all right. As you become the new keeper of world order. Hold on, why do we have the cat? The cat fucked me up. All right, I wanna I wanna swap to something Hello, else. Travel. Do I have a snake? That was fun, wasn't it? The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did pretty good. The world's mostly busy and bustling, ripe for some pirate adventures. <laughs> but I can offer a new cycle, a turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline, a parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. Knowledge and loot will remain, of course. Otherwise, tis the eternal recurrence of all things. This is this is pretty nice. How it gives you a chance to go back and see the stuff you've missed, um, and still remaining like within the theme of the game. There's certainly a lot of stuff I wasn't able to buy because of me going against uh, fate's orders, so I didn't get money. Um, but I think. I think it was overall a very good ending. So let's see if we put this as final ending. <laughs> Do I get the design liver dot? Is this the credits? I live or die for all the all the creators. Ah, uh, this is this is a great credit scene. Makes a lot of the goodest art for the game as well. They really love cats. Meow. 100% yazativity, 0% nosativity. <laughs> this 
this is this was a very nice game. It had a it had a good shtick. It had pretty great characters. They once beat so hard that they booped. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy with uh, how this game went out. All right, how long is how long is the uh, the uh, the uh, credits gonna be? What can't Bonnie do? Abigail Abbey the Tube is a highly regarded actor, philosopher, Gordite, Dracula, YouTube personality, dashing, exuberant, with a wicked wink and a sharp mind. Fittingly, there. The voice of Herbert, and technically Tim, who doesn't have any lines. <laughs> Wait! Wait, Abigail Thorne? Hold on. I have to... No way! No way! Hold on. Is that Abigail Thorne philosophy tube? Abigail Thorne? I think that is. I'm as best as I can see that is. Yeah, that is. The 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 actor job, I believe I believe she had she actually had a um, a play uh, a couple couple months back. That's holy fucking shit. You know sometimes sometimes it's a small world. You know, um, that's so cool. Good for them. Jamie works with special needs kids during the day, VA at night. They love tonkatsu ramen, well who doesn't, and playing with their baby girl Lily. They got a pretty decent idea for a taco truck. Goes around like the ice cream truck. Oh hell yeah. Oh that would entice the fuck out of me. That's a, that's a block of text. Wait a minute, hold on, I clicked that too fast. Was that stupendium? I I just realized that person's facial hair kind of looked like Stupendium. And I was aware of this game because of uh, Stupendium's song on it. All right, how many how many more of these do we got? Joy is trying to convince their D&D group to try whatever obscure indie game discovered this week. Occasionally successful. Yeah, yeah that's kind of that's mood. It's kind of how it be. It's kind of how it do be as a DM. Voice actor spawn number one one four final V two. <laughs> Mood. Oh, the archivist was a cool character. I'm kind of sad that we didn't have an extended area of seeing all of the uh, people in the bar. All right. I wasn't... I thought it wouldn't be too much of the game left. I'm glad it was still, you know, a good, a good couple hours. Um... Uh... Beeps and boop. Interesting. Oh, that's good. I can go into New Game Plus if I wanted. Hello. This is Drecky of the Post Production. Thank you for watching or listening to this series. Whether it was background noise while you worked, experiencing a game vicariously, or you just like my thoughts and reactions. Feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion of a similar game if I haven't played it. 
I stream on Twitch as Drecky Ormer if you wish to see things live and unedited. Regardless, have a great rest of your time zone, and I appreciate the time we shared. Bye!